The following tip has made me millions of dollars in sales. If you're ready to make that kind of money, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ramos Halu, founder and CEO of the Academy for Sales Excellence, where we simply help you make more sales. Coming to you with the tip of the week right here from our studios in Dubai. As a sales professional, I sometimes find myself doing many things other than selling. I'd get distracted by many activities that would drop me from achieving my true sales potential. Things like sometimes spending too much time driving all over town or handling non-important emails or phone calls or meeting unqualified prospects, even spending too much time on social media and other entertaining activities. Now, if you're in sales and you're spending your time on anything other than activities that bring you more sales, do you know how much is that costing you? If you're an employee, you might still get away because you have a salary coming to you from a month to month. So wasting a bit of time here and there might not have a big impact. But that becomes a lot more obvious if you're working for yourself or if you're working on pure commissions because if you spend your time on the wrong activities, you automatically feel it right here in your pocket. So here are some basic activities that you as a sales professional could be doing in order to get the sale and earn more money so that you can live the life that you truly deserve. Number one is prospecting. Now that is looking at opportunities. Once you find an opportunity, then you can go to the next phase, which is the qualifying phase. Now here, once an opportunity is identified, you just simply do not go into sending a proposal without knowing who are the people on the inside. So qualifying means you got to identify the various decision makers, understand their goals, their challenges, who has the most power and can influence others about the deal. If you don't have that information, your chances of success are slim and moving to the next stage could actually be a waste of time. Now the next stage is the proposal writing, which is where you spend some time doing things, you know, writing things, and it's important to write a proposal that is custom made based on the need of that specific customer. And then the last phase is the negotiation phase, and ideally you're negotiating face to face with the client, not over email, okay, so that you can get the deal to close. Now this is in very simple term what I call the sales funnel. Now in order to make a sale, you can either be prospecting, qualifying, uh, writing proposals or negotiating. And if you find yourself doing anything other than that, catch yourself and say, Ramis, get back to selling work, get back to selling work. Now, which one activity uh, should you be doing more of or less of? Should you spend uh, the same amount of time on all four activities? Should one of them have a priority over the others? Now to me it's very obvious because the key is uh, what is the one action that if I can take right now will help me bring the revenue in fastest. So the one activity that I tell you and I give priority to is the negotiation phase because if I send a proposal I might as well just get to where I can negotiate and close the deal. Now I had spent all that time writing things, getting it there so I might as well bit that, bit of, give it a bit of extra effort so that I can get the deal moving forward. Now once you negotiated and closed that deal, you better have more deals waiting for you in the pipeline so that you can do more of the same. So how much time should you spend on one activity to keep the flow going the right way? Well it depends, it depends on your strategy and the current health of your pipeline. Maybe 25% uh, on prospecting, 30% uh, on qualifying, 15% uh, on proposal writing, and 30% on negotiating. Look, you decide. The main point for you is that you can decide how to direct your time so that you can close deals faster and enjoy the results it can give you. A quote many years ago made a huge impact on me. It says, if it's up to me, it's up to me. You are in control. I am in control, right? So, until next time make more sales.